Welcome to the next instalment of the Wellbeing Strategy. The first step is an easy one and it's cost effective. It's to know your company's facts and figures. According to the 2019 Health and Wellbeing Study, conducted by the Chartered Institute of Personal and Development, absence rates are at an all-time low with the average being 5.9 days per employee. It's important to look inwards at your business and know exactly what's going on. So ask yourself, are we in line with these absence days? Are we better or worse? Do we have any trends? Are there any areas worse than other departments? Are our employees taking leave due to mental health related issues? And what's our workforce demographic? You may already have an idea to the causes. However, to ensure a successful strategy, this information will help direct you to the best approach and product. It may even be worth preparing yourself with previous year's data and observe what has changed within your business. Remember, the measure of a successful health and wellbeing strategy is whether it actually increases productivity and employee engagement whilst reducing sickness and absence. And to check this, you can also measure against your company achievements. The CIPD suggests three quarters of organisations report positive outcomes from their health and wellbeing activity. But this year, 2019, they have reported an increased number of achievements, better morale and engagement, healthier and more inclusive culture, and lower sickness remains the most common benefit. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe or follow our channels for further videos, or if you want to see the rest of the series.